Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this short video, well, uh, honestly, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the basics of, of, of Vegas 14, so let's say that you just started out using this program and that you're very confused like how you can use this one, like the easiest way and how to learn this entire program. Well, in this video guys, I'm just going to show you guys the, the basics of Vegas 14 so you guys can get started. So, the first one is actually cutting and removing like little little parts from a video. So let's say that you want to cut away all the ums and silences and everything. Uh, the, the first way to cut in Vegas is also is also to press S from split. So as you can see, if I press S, if I I can move I can move this one separately as you can see. But if I say I want to also cut away this part, I'm going to press S again. And as you can see, this part has become loose, and you can just press delete, and you can just you know combine those two to each other, and then you have like a really nice jump cut into the other scene so in terms of cutting that's really simple so let's say that you also want to add in a fade out like going fading to black that's gonna be really simple the thing you want to do though is you do want to go to the very end and you want to go until this icon says uh, fade out offset and then you can just you know hold your left mouse button and drag the fade how long you want it to be so if I want to have like a really slow fade out I'm gonna make it really long so if I play back the video it is fading out really really slow and this is how you can also end off your videos pretty easily just with a fade out but let's say that you want to have like a really fast fade out you would just want to drag this guy to the very beginning i'm going to just place this guy to the very end this is going to be a very short one so if i play back the video as you can see it's fading out pretty quick so those are actually a few methods how to cut and how to end off your videos with a black fade uh, the other things is let's say that you want to appear make up make text appear on the screen We're gonna go over to media generators I'm gonna click on titles and text and you just want to place this guy uh, on onto a new video track so how to create a new video track just right click insert video track and then place the text guy on top of it and let's say uh, I'm just gonna uh, type in a day in the park I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller just select everything just go over and press well, I would say 25 and you can also place it in the corner of the screen I'm gonna add in a little outline that's also very important so it's, it's a little bit more readable uh, if I place it like this as you can see a day in the park so let's make this park uh, fade in as well so I'm just gonna go over and make a fade then I'm gonna also make a fade on the text and I'm gonna and then I'm gonna time it so let's play back the video as you can see a day a day in the park it fades in and then also the text fades in a date in the park then I'm gonna also make the text fade out right here boom and then as you can see this is how you make text and this is how you add text on top of your video track obviously uh, you can pick uh, a lot of different fonts as you can see there are not like only the standard one i downloaded like 5000 fonts and like in like a font pack so that's what i did as well so this is how you add text how to cut and how to fade out your videos and how to end off the of your your videos um, but I would say other than that you can also apply effects onto the video So let's go over to video effects and let's pick brightness and contrast and just drag the default one on there And as you guys can see you can apply some effects on there uh, Using this contrast as you can see this is way too much. This is way too less So if you place it in the middle, I would say like this that looks pretty tight then also you don't want to mess around with the brightness too much because that's going to really ruin your video so what you can do is just want to just keep this one on 0 0.500 as the standard uh, i think it was 0 0.500 or just or just zero like that then the contrast center do not touch that because it's gonna as you can see make it also brighter and darker to so just keep this one on 0 0.500 that's the standard i think it is or is it also zero uh, let's place it right here. That looks pretty pretty cool. This is how we apply uh, effects on the video Let's also just drag that on there and let's go and play with those three panels I'm gonna make the box a little bit smaller so you guys can see 
So if I play it back, as you can see, if I would add, if I if I would like to add a little more blue, I'm gonna just place this guy into the blue zone, and that's that makes it that makes a really cool effect. So let's say I also want to add some blue uh, midtones. You can just or green midtones. You can also place it. Uh, I would say right here. That looks pretty cool, like with the grass and everything. And then the high tones. You can also choose uh, which color you like. I'm just gonna keep this one. Uh, I would say on light green and this is how you add a nice effect onto it as you can see a fade in with a day in the park and Then we have some nice color correction applied on it So that's basically how to add some really simple effects guys. I know it is, it is that simple So let's say that you also want to add some cinematic black bars You want to go over to event pen crop and that what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and make sure that only size about center is checked. So then if you drag this, this down, as you can see, we will have cinematic bars. It is that simple. So if I just go over and uh, lower this a little bit, so, it, so a little bit more of the park is visible. As you, get, as you guys clearly can see, this is how to make cinematic bars. And let's say I'm going to uh, make the text like in the black like this. This is basically how to make it uh, very, very advanced, guys. If I play back the video, we have the cinematic black bars. We have a day in the park fading in. Then we have just a day in the park fading out. And then we just jump to the regular footage. And then at the end, we have a fade out. This is how you use Sony Vegas, guys. It is that simple. If you guys say like, dude, make a part two, make sure to let me know it with a comment down below and I'll be making sure to make a part two or may even make a part three. Uh, so that's the simple as guys. If you say like, dude, you didn't cover that, that specific part in this video well guys i'm probably gonna make a part two so just wait for that just make sure you stay subscribed so you guys will get a notification and it's on my upload so that's it for the video guys that's it for part one so thank you guys for the continued support i will catch you guys tomorrow uh for a new vegas 14 tutorial and thank you guys for almost 84,000 subscribers we're just gonna hit that 100k like so soon it is that amazing so thank you guys i'm really thankful and i'll catch you guys tomorrow just alex helford